In this video, I'll explain X-linked inheritance. An X-linked gene is a gene that is located on the X chromosome. In humans and fruit flies, female organisms typically have two X chromosomes in the genome, while male organisms typically have a single X chromosome paired with a Y chromosome. As a result, females carry two copies of each X-linked gene, while XY males are hemizygous, meaning they carry only one copy of each X-linked gene. The key to note here is that each parent gives just one of their sex chromosomes to their offspring. Now, if these are two parents and they produce offspring, they have four different offspring combination options. To create female offspring, the male donates his X, and the female can donate either this X or this X. These are your two options for female offspring from this couple. Or, the male could donate his Y chromosome to be paired with either this X from the female or this X from the female. So these would be your sex chromosome combinations for the male offspring. Now, X-linked genes are just like autosomal genes in that they can have different alleles. For example, in fruit flies, the white gene has two alleles. The dominant W plus allele leads to a red eye phenotype in the fly, while the recessive W allele leads to the white eye phenotype. So females that are homozygous W plus or heterozygous will have red eyes, while females that are homozygous for the recessive W allele will have white eyes. In males, you only have one white gene in the genome. So the phenotype will be dependent on just the one allele present in the genome. A male with a W plus allele on his X chromosome will have red eyes, and a male with the recessive W allele on his X chromosome would have white eyes. Okay, now let's look at what happens when parents pass on their X-linked genes. Let's say we have a female that is heterozygous. One of her X chromosomes has the W plus allele and one has the recessive W allele. She has red eyes. And let's cross this red-eyed female to a male fly who also has red eyes, so his X chromosome carries the W plus allele. We can set up a Punnett square for this cross just as we would for any other cross. The female parent makes eggs with either this X or this X, and the male parent makes sperm with either his X chromosome or his Y chromosome. When we fill in the square, we can see that these two boxes represent all of the possible female offspring. Of all the female offspring, half will be heterozygous and half will be homozygous for the dominant W plus allele. So all of the female offspring from this cross will be red-eyed. If we focus on these two boxes, we can see the possibilities for male offspring genotypes. Half of the male offspring will have the dominant W plus allele leading to a red-eyed phenotype, and the other half of the male offspring will have the recessive W allele, leading them to have white-eyed phenotype. This is a classic example of how X-linked traits differ from autosomal trait inheritance. With X-linked traits, you can see a difference in phenotype distribution when you compare the male and female offspring. In this case, because the male parent only carries the dominant W plus allele on his one X chromosome, then all of his female offspring receive that allele from him, which means they will all have the dominant red-eyed phenotype. Let's take a look at one more example. In this case, let's have a white-eyed female that is homozygous for the recessive W allele and a male fly with red eyes, which means he has the dominant W plus allele on his X chromosome. When we set up the Punnett square for this cross and then fill in the offspring genotypes, we can see something really interesting. Looking at the female offspring here, we can see that they are all heterozygous and therefore have red eyes. And looking at all of the male offspring here, we can see that they all get the recessive W allele on the X chromosome from the female parent. As a result, all of the male offspring will have white eyes. So we have crossed a white-eyed female to a red-eyed male, and we have offspring that are either red-eyed females or white-eyed males. 
This particular phenomenon, when the male and female phenotypes switch from one generation to the next, is called crisscross inheritance, which is a unique feature of X-linked inheritance. Okay, so moving forward, here are a few rules of thumb you can follow when dealing with X-linked genes. First, male offspring genotype is always a product of the female parent genotype. If the female parent is homozygous, then the male offspring will have her same phenotype. If the female parent is heterozygous, then half of the male offspring will have the dominant phenotype and half of the male offspring will have the recessive phenotype. Furthermore, if a male parent has a dominant phenotype, then all of his female offspring will have the dominant phenotype like him, as he gives his dominant allele on the X chromosome to all of his female offspring. So those are the basics of X-linked inheritance. If you'd like to learn more, check out the other genetics videos on my channel.